going to introduce you to the bill feature in QuickBooks. And this is extremely useful. There's a million different applications for it. But today I'm going to focus on how to apply multiple payments towards an invoice that you have to pay or an expense that you have. Um, I remember I used to, let's say I had a $10,000 invoice I needed to pay and I'd make one $5,000 payment and then another $5,000 payment to close it out. I didn't know if I was supposed to make two $5,000 expenses with different invoices or have them split it up. And it was just a nightmare, especially if you're doing uh, like one particular invoice or uh, item category that like one unit for multiple payments. So uh, let's get into it. I'll show you how to do it. So let's say you have, we'll do a $250 invoice that we have to pay for our monthly telephone bill. So let's go to bill new up in the left corner. Um, and bill, there's two different versions of QuickBooks Online. This is the old version. If you have the new one, it's the same principle. I'm pretty sure this stuff is all in the same uh, location anyway. So let's choose our vendor. Let's do this telephone company. And that is just not enough telephone bills. So let's do a $300 or $250, $250 telephone bill for the month. Uh, so this is where we would attach our invoice down here under attachments, or you don't really need an invoice for something this small. But if you wanted to attach, let's say, a PDF invoice, you could do this here. This is going to be where you log the actual expense that has happened. And then we'll go down to save and close. So now we have our bill saved. So now we're going to go and we're going to make payments towards the bill. And we'll do three payments. We'll do two $75 payments and then one $100 payment to close out, just as an example. So let's go to expenses. And as you can see under expenses, we have our bill. Um, and this is where we can choose how we're going to pay it and from what source. So. Let's click on the right here. We'll do mark as paid. And we'll do our first $75 payment. Type an amount, $75. And this is where we can choose, let's say we paid the first $75 on a credit card, the next $75 from a bank account, and then the final $100 from a credit card. So we'll do our first one on our MasterCard. It's going to be this outstanding transaction here, $75 payment. Save and close. And now you can see that this bill payment is logged on our credit card. And then we can go back here to Mark is Paid. And every time you click Mark is Paid, the amount that's going to come up, it's going to assume that you're going to pay off the balance. So you have to manually edit it if you're not doing that. But that's convenient because let's say you're only making two payments. You log the first one, and then the second one will automatically be populated with the outstanding balance. So let's do our $75 payment from our checking account. 1200 bucks in it. Got a little close. OK, save and close. Uh, and now we will do our final payment for this bill, which is $100 that automatically calculates the ending balance, then we'll put it back on our MasterCard. Save and close. And now that bill will be paid and you can just, it'll say view and edit. That's how you know if your bill has been paid or not. If it doesn't say schedule payment in QuickBooks, it will say view slash edit because it's paid off. And then you have your three different um, bill payments towards that bill here. Let's say you logged the wrong uh, payment source. So you said that you did it from a checking account on one and you actually did it from your credit card. So when you go into your banking, it will, let's see if it has it on here. It will, let's say you have, you put the wrong source in so you can't link it up on your banking. Uh, what you'll do is you'll just go back here to expenses, click on the payment that you want to edit. And then let's say we accidentally put MasterCard, we can change it to checking and it doesn't really change anything and it'll adjust. It'll say it's linked to others because it's linked to the bill. I'm going to say yes. So there you go. That is a quick introduction to what I think is the best way to use, or the, the kind of the most common way that you're going to use a bill is if you have multiple payments towards an invoice. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.